I am sure that most of you already know what happened to Philando Castillo. But for those of you who don't, on July 6th of last year, Philando Castillo was fatally shot by Geronimo Yanez, a coward with a Minnesota police badge. I'm not going to call Yanez a cop because he doesn't deserve it. He's nothing more than a cowardly murderer, murderer who killed a law-abiding citizen in cold blood. I watched him do it. We all watched him do it. During a basic traffic stop for a busted taillight, the coward, Pussifer Yanez, shot Philando Castile four times as he reached for his wallet. He actually looked like he unloaded his whole clip. He only hit him four times because he's backing up like a pussy. All right, he, was since, he has since been found not guilty of manslaughter, which was all they were going to charge him with to begin with. But no, 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 no. That's too much. That's too much even. You can't even make that much of a gesture and hold this coward, this cowardly murderer responsible for what he did and charge him with that. No, that's gotten thrown out too. So this murderer will be charged with nothing, proving once again that justice does not exist in this country if you cannot afford it or you happen to be a certain skin tone. Now, Getting to that, I'm going to touch on why I say certain skin tone. Other than the fact that this man was cooperating, he was not throwing a fit, it was a busted taillight. There was a cop on the other side, and you had the, the coward, uh, Officer Yanez, or Pussifer Yanez, on the window side talking to Mr. Castile. Now, there's a baby in the back of the car, keep that in mind. There's a five-year-old little girl in the back of the car, and his girlfriend, also. Now, this coward... Tells him, the uh, Philando tells the officer, I have, a, I have a weapon and I have a, a license to carry it. So the cop already starts getting scared. You see him back up. And then I don't know what Philando was reaching for. But the cop starts yelling, don't reach, don't reach. And you hear him say, you hear Philando say, I'm not reaching for it. I'm not reaching for it. And then the cop unloads his gun. The other cop is so afraid he runs on the other side. He runs because this coward is shooting as he's backing up. He is shooting so sloppy that he shot about, I'd say, eight shots into this car and hit Philando only four times. Now, remember, there is a five-year-old little girl in the back seat. Keep that in mind. All right, now, he wanted to say that he felt like he could justify that because he smelled weed smoke. And he thought if this man would smoke weed in front of his little girl... Then he'd kill him. Now, how in the fuck do you make that comparison in the first place? But let's just say that you do think that. You know what? No, let's don't. Because that's fucking ridiculous. And as far as excuses that I've ever heard in my life, I can't even entertain it. I was going to try. I was going to try for you, uh, Pussy Yanez. I won't call you a cop because, in my opinion, cops are brave. Uh, a cop wants to go out and help his, uh, help his community. A cop straps on that gun and puts on that badge and risks his life because he believes in the law. A cop does not run around like a coward that is not even brave enough to give out a traffic ticket in broad daylight. You're a pussy. And because you're a coward, you killed that man, and you took uh, the father away from that little girl, and you took that girl's bo uh, boyfriend away from her. And you took, that he took him away from his mother, you took him away from his family, you took everything away from him because you're a fucking coward, and you shouldn't have been wearing that gun. Now... Let's get to why I brought up skin tone. This man was a law-abiding citizen, wasn't breaking the law, wasn't, he was cooperating with the cop. Now let's get to why his skin color matters. He was a licensed gun owner with a concealed carry permit. If that was a white man, the NRA would have been losing their shit. That cop would have been hung up by his fucking balls. They would have crucified that cop because he killed a white man who had a legal right to have that gun. And they would have been, you would have heard every lobbyist, you would have heard senators, you would have heard everybody screaming for this cop's badge, screaming for this cop's life to be ruined like it should be. But no, because it's a black man, the NRA is quiet, crickets over at the NRA. This is their favorite thing to yell about. This man was a law-abiding citizen carrying a gun with a license. They should be losing their shit. But nothing, nothing. Which proves, once again, that the NRA doesn't give a fuck, really, about gun rights. That's not what it's about. It's about fucking gun sales is what it's about. And they believe that white people can buy more guns. So they want to support those people. And they're racist as well. So when they do their marketing, they're thinking about Johnny Redneck, who buys 15 guns and an assault rifle to go deer hunting with. They are not thinking about people like Philando, who buys a gun for his own protection. They don't care about that guy.
They care about Johnny Redneck, who's going to buy 15 to 20 guns, and he's going to have assault rifles for no reason, and he's going to think they're super cool, and he's going to buy all kinds of accessories for them and all kinds of bonuses and cases and fancy cabinets to put them in. That's the guy they're pushing for, and he's white. Now, if you're a black man and you're a Republican and you feel like I just said something wrong, um, I didn't. And I hope you never have to find out. Because, because you don't get a fair shake because of your skin tone. And even if you're one of those crazy Republicans, like that cop that stands up for Trump all the time, he's a goddamn liar if he thinks without that badge and without that outfit that he would get a fair shake in the street. I saw a guy, this was a correctionals officer, he was beaten by two cops in a Walmart because they thought he shoplifted. This was a guy who is in the law. He's in law enforcement. He works as a correctional officer, sitting here crying at a hearing because nothing's being done to these cops. And, and he, it shook his faith in everything because he's just shopping and he fit a description. He fit the description so they get to beat the shit out of him. You know how many videos I see of kids playing ball with their friends who fit the description? I saw one the other day of these kids walking down the street. These cops pulled guns on him. They said he fit the description. The only thing that fit was he was black and he had dreads. The guy he fit the description of was about six foot five, 280 pounds. This was a 12-year-old little boy. He fit the description that he was black and walking through America with his friends playing basketball. That's what fucking description he fit. All right? You know... These cops, they want to say that they're not bad cops, that these are just isolated incidents and that most cops are good. Well, you know what a good cop does when a murderer kills somebody? They ostracize that motherfucker. They throw that thin blue line out the fucking window so that they have a reputation to stand on. And you don't anymore because you won't do that. You want to be like, no, 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 no. We have to support this officer. He's got a family. Well, he just fucking killed somebody with a family, and you should turn your back on him and throw him to the wolves because he's not a good cop, and he makes you look bad. Now, you want to know why you look bad. You want to know why nobody wants to hear anything about good cops anymore. It's because a good cop would do his fucking job and wouldn't, wouldn't not do it because of a thin blue line. He would want these dirty-ass fucking cops, these cowards with badges, who are going to murder somebody, he would want them off the street. That's what a good cop would do. That's why there's no fucking good cops. <coughs> I think I just broke my tooth. Something cracked when I bit my cigarette. I'm fucking mad. This is why I did the other one first. I wouldn't have even gotten to it if I didn't do the other one first. The point here is, this law-abiding citizen that owned a gun legally with a permit was murdered by a cop in broad daylight over a busted taillight. And, you know, his mother's right. I watched her speak the other day, and she, she's like, you know, you don't want to do anything now, but you wait for they come for your babies. They're coming for brown people right now, but wait till they come for you. There won't be nobody to help you because you didn't want to help us. You want to look the other way because it's not your turn yet. Well, it will be your turn. And you wait for your fucking turn and find out that you're all alone because you were silent while everybody else was dealing with it. These cops have become stormtroopers. I saw, I don't remember what state it was out of, but I saw their little flag. You know, they got the thin blue line on it already, which is bullshit. Get that off your uniform. But this one had a Punisher logo on it. Like they're comic book characters now. These fuckers think they have a license to kill. And you want to know why people don't like cops. It's because these so-called good cops don't do shit. Silence is consent. Silence is consent. So you are not a good cop because you were silent and you consented to that behavior. So there is no such thing as a good cop. That man was murdered, and he got a, and the guy that murdered him got away with it. Euronimo Yanez is a coward and a murderer, and he walks free. Nothing will happen to him. He will keep his badge, he will keep his gun, and he will kill someone else. And it's our fault if we don't fucking rise up 
and and make sure he is at least removed from the street, that that gun is taken off of that coward and he is put in a security job where he belongs with, with a whistle. He doesn't need a gun. He doesn't ever need to be able to buy a gun. There needs to be justice for this man. Now, it's too late for the courts, but we are activists and we can ruin this man's life. So let's do it. Let's demand that his badge is taken away. Let's demand he is removed from the street, that he is removed from the police force, that, he's re that, that he can't find a fucking job, that he ends up burger flipping with me.